Few Singaporeans have used up their skills future credit, but this group can still benefit from government subsidies on cost fees, said Minister of State for Education and Manpower Gon Sai Huang on January 10. Ms. Gon told Parliament that use of the credit was higher among younger age groups, with close to 40% of those in their 30s having spent any of it, compared with around 25% of those over 60. Around 192,000 Singaporeans used their skills future credit in 2022, up on the 156,000 in 2019, before the pandemic. Ms. Gon noted that the proportion of people who went for some form of training, including employer-sponsored training, rose to about 50% in 2022 compared with 35% in 2015, when the Skills Future Initiative was launched to encourage lifelong learning. All Singaporeans, just 25 or over, received the starting $500 in credits in January 2016. A $500 top-up was given in 2020 to Singaporeans, each 25 and above, with an additional $500 specifically to those 40 to 60. Mature mid-career Singaporeans could receive a substantial top-up of SkillsFuture credit. Ms. Gon said more details will be announced later in 2024. Ms. Gon said some Singaporeans have not used their credits due to a lack of time as well as the opportunity cost of going for upskilling courses. SkillsFuture Singapore SSG has improved the MySkillsFuture portal to make it easier for users to find courses that are eligible for SkillsFuture credit. The claim submission process has also been simplified in response to user feedback. SSG works closely with industry partners and regularly analyses data on job vacancies and skills in demand in order to keep the courses relevant to the needs of businesses.